Hello, and welcome back to our series with Storytelling with Data. In the last video, we talked about telling the simplest stories, one thought in one second. So as we're taking a look at our various options here, which of these is going to be the next story that we're going to tell? Well, we're going to start with the opposite of what we told in the last video. That's right, we're going to talk for a moment about tables. Tables are such a fantastic way to read and come to an understanding of data. However, we understand that their inherent weakness is that there's so much information there, it can be really difficult to relay that information to someone in the audience, especially somebody who doesn't study the data in the same way that we do. So when it comes to tables, what are they really good at telling us? They are fabulous at telling epics. Now, as you may have started figuring out, I'm a bit of a nerd. So when I think of epics, I'm thinking Lord of the Rings and Star Wars. We're telling big tales, swathing stories with tons of characters, locations, places. And oh my, can you imagine putting this up on a slide in a meeting and saying, all right, everybody, let's understand what this says their eyes are going to roll into the back of their head and they are going to eject themselves from the meeting. You will never hear from them again. It's obvious, right? It's not that there is quote unquote, too much information to understand. You haven't shown them the way. You haven't helped them to identify the major characters in the story. You're just giving a list of characters, dates, activities. That's not enough. We need to tell a story. Right? So how are we going to tell a story here with the data? Well, let's go ahead and give it a try. First, we need to bring the data down and look at its formatting. It is too much to have the headers and the big fonts and the strong borders. That's too much because the story is about the data, not the formatting. Once you have minimalized your formatting, the next most powerful piece is, is you're going to have to sort and filter. The previous table and the tables that we study, which could be 10 cells, 100 cells, 10,000 cells worth of information, that's too much to present in the context of a story. It's too much to try to bring somebody into the tale once we're at the height of the action. You have to start them at the beginning and walk them through the story. One of the easiest ways to do this is by sorting and filtering your information, bringing it down to the most critical elements that are being recorded within the story. But that's not enough. This is still a lot for someone who doesn't study the data to take in. So what's our next goal? We need a guide. One of my most favorite guides to use is a heat map, especially when it comes to tables or conditional formatting for those that want to start looking at the tool that is being used here. So as we take a look at this information, it's like, oh, well, test one seemingly went really well. And also the final student in the list seemed to knock it out of the park several times. We're able to come to those understandings incredibly quickly just by thinking about the way in which we're telling the story. So yes, tables tell epics. They tell great tales, but they still have to tell it one piece at a time. And that was it. Can you believe it? Tables are such a big thing in such a short video, but I appreciate you joining me. And when next we meet, we will discuss how to tell even more stories with another of our friends here. Take care.